Simone is the island's top performing girl for the 2022 primary exit profile or PEP exams. 398.3 was her score out of a perfect score of 400. Wow! Welcome to Smile. Good Thank to have you. you. Don't be nervous, you know, it's just you and I to see him talking this morning. Um, you're coming from Reach Academy. You want to pick up anybody at Reach? Show them out now. Maybe some many teachers are watching. <laughs> Say hi. Um, um, hi. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you shy? Um, I mean, I've been with the same set of people for a really long time, so I don't really know. Same set of people like at school at and family school and so on. And family, but yeah. now you're about to head into a totally different environment at Campion College. How do you feel stepping into a new school, new environment? You're gonna have to make new friends. How do you feel? Well, I feel kind of nervous. Mm -hmm. I'm also a bit excited as well. Yeah. Well, nerves are natural. You know that because you're going into a new space, so that's okay. Um, Tell me how you felt when you heard your score. So mommy got the news, mommy came home and mommy called a family meeting and she told you. What were your thoughts? Well, um, I wasn't expecting it. Um, I was very happy at the time. Um, my family was also happy mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And um, you knew you had done well, or did you not feel you had done well? When you were finished with the exams, tell me how you felt. Well, I felt like I did well. Mm -hmm. but I didn't think I did as well as I f actually did. Right, right. Because you, you bested like 17,256 girls who sat the exam. That is incredible. Do you have any idea how incredible that is? <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me about your preparation for the exams. So, oh, um, I had two extra classes and I also did um, preparation work at my school. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult? Um, I wouldn't really say it's difficult, but it took up some of your time, but you still did have free time. Mm -hmm. You still had free time. Um, how did you approach the studies? Tell me. You had a, you had a, you had somebody who was preparing you at school because you guys had a special pep teacher. Then you had your regular classes. How many hours per week would you study? How many hours per day would you study to make sure that you felt ready for the exam? Well, um, I normally have some pep classes every once in a while, but I did another pep class that was four days a week mm -hmm. for two and a half hours. And then I studied when I got home. Oh my God. Sounds rough to me, but you said it wasn't difficult. You said it was kind of smooth sailing. There was no, no challenge? You didn't feel at any point stressed? You didn't feel not sure? Really? Not at all. Yeah. Have you always been a top performer in school? Well, I guess you could kind of say that. Mm -hmm. That's probably why it didn't feel strange to you. Day of the exam, no. Were you more pressured than mommy and daddy? Did you, did you feel any stress going in or were you like, I got, I got this? Well, kind of a bit of both. What um, was the most difficult subject? In my opinion, probably a language, mm -hmm. but none of them were really, like, really hard for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, your scores tell the perfect tale. So according to the ministry, Leah Simone, performed better than 98% of all test takers on the ability test. You scored 368 in math, 357 in science, 349 in language arts, and 357 in social studies. That's out of a perfect score of 400. That is absolutely incredible. So what did you do in your free time? You said you had some free time. What were you doing in your free time? Well, most of the time I talked with my friends, or sometimes I like to draw. Mm -hmm. Were you in Roblox? <laughs> yes. Yes, of course you were. Um, you sketch, you say table tennis, dance, you dance? Sometimes, Gymnastics? Yes, yes sometimes. Swim? Yes. Sometimes. Okay. Yes. So as you head into Campion now, Leah Simone, um, what are you hoping for as you head into this new school? Well, I'm hoping to do well in my studies. I think that's a given. But yes, good hope. What else? I also hope to make some friends. Yes. 
You hope to do some more extracurricular or no? Yes, I also hope to do more extracurricular. Mm -hmm. yes. Which ones would you want to focus on? You have a great dance group here. It's true. I might do dance. You might do dance. Okay. Um, I also might um, do the table tennis. Mm -hmm. Or I might do go on the debate team. Okay. You like to debate? Sometimes, okay. yes. Okay, okay. So you might be quiet type, but, you, but if you are a debater, then you're a debater. Let me ask you another question. What do you ultimately want to do? What do you see yourself doing when you grow? Your mom is a doctor? Yes. Or what does that do? Um, he's, also, he's a surgeon. He's a surgeon? Are you heading in there for steps? Mm, I don't really think I want to do medicine. No. <gasps> did you tell them? Yes, I oh, did. Oh, they know, they know. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you want to do? I don't really know. Don't know yet. And that's okay. You know that's okay, right? Because you're young. You're 12. You don't need to know right now. But what areas fascinate you? Are you, are you like a IT girl or what are you fascinated by at this point in your life? Um, probably mostly math, if it, more than anything else. Oh, my God. Yeah. So maybe actuarial science or one of those. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Well, all the best. What do you, what do you have to say to other young people who are heading into high school, looking at a change of pace, a change of scenery, a change of friends, a change of just how things used to be, and who, who may be as nervous as you are, but also a little excited, what would you want to share with them? Well, I don't think they should worry. I mean, it's more to that than saying it, but I really don't think they should worry, and they should do their best while they're in high mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And moving from doing like six core subjects, six, maybe, five, six, to like, like 12, 13 subjects, new timetables with so many different subjects. Does that, does that scare you at all? Are you apprehensive about that at all? Or are you excited about the prospect of doing even more subjects to kind of widen your scope? You know, I'm kind of a bit of both. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though it is viewed as one subject, you actually do the other subjects while you're doing one big mm -hmm. subject. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, madam. Well, we wish you all the best. We know greatness. More greatness is going to come from you when you're a champion. And we know we're not going to forget this name because we're going to hear it quite a bit. Pep 2022 top scoring girl. A whopping 398.3 out of a perfect score of 400. Leah Simone Powell. Is there anybody? Is that you in your uniform? Was that orientation? Yes, it's Is that your dog? Yes, it What's is. What's his name? Oh, her name is Snoopy. Her Snow name? Pea. Sorry, doggy. Her name is what? Snoopy. Snoopy. I love that for you. So you love pets, too. You didn't tell us that part. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Leah Simone, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Is there anybody you want to say thank hi to before we go? Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone's awake. Oh, but. <laughs> Girl, do you know me people watch this show? <laughs> try, try and see. Okay. Um, I'd like to say hello mm -hmm. to my teachers mm -hmm. and my friends, my parents, because they might be probably going to be watching this. Probably? Yeah, my brother was probably asleep, but he might be watching But this. when you leave here and check your phone, you're going to have so many messages, and you'll see that many people were awake and watching you. Thank you, Leah Simone. Appreciate it. Thank you for um, having me. Yeah, you're very welcome. Up next.